am Vida Squawk and welcome to my channel. Guess what? It's my birthday and we just reached 52,000 followers. So thank you so much. Remember, this is a free content all for you for free. So to help me, all you have to do is leave it feedback share my videos and hashtag especially if you got an inspiration from these videos hashtag virus walk is very important but let's talk about this creation i'm so proud of this creation i have to say to you i went a little bit crazy you know me i went very crazy here it was going to be only a simple cake on the board and ended up turning into all these designs and i'm so proud and i really wanted to share with you so all we start because we went to cake international in brisbane as i shared with you on my last video and on the way back my husband took me to this garden, a butterfly garden in Coff Harbor. And it was so special. It was really special because since I was a little girl, me and my brother always have this connection with butterflies. We used to believe that it was our mother that would fly around and um, to ensure to us that everything was going to be okay. So when I come back, I say to my husband, I'm going to make a butterfly cake for my birthday. And so I did. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the video. I went to my friends at Bunnings and I picked up some pieces of MGF. I got a one a three millimeters thick and a, a thicker board nine millimeters thick for the board the body of the butterfly. I got some galvanized brackets and these galvanized brackets are amazing because they super strong but also flexible. And of course I got some bolts, some nuts and screws to connect the wings to these brackets and connect the brackets to the board. I traced the wings to the MGF and I cut on my scroll saw. You can use a bench saw, a jiggle saw. But if you don't have any of these tools to cut your wood, you can use corn flute. It's a plastic board, very strong, and you can cut easy with the Stanley knife. So after I cut the wings, you have to sand, make sure it's nice and smooth. And you will end up with a little kit like that for basic eight butterfly. But like I said to you before, when I started making the butterflies, I was using two brackets, but very soon I realized I did not need two brackets. One bracket was super strong. So to bend, I use my little angle grinder. I score a little bit because it wasn't so easy to bend. It's a very strong, so I just score a little bit with the angle grinder. And that's when I went crazy because when I realized that I could have all these positions, I went wild <laughs> because I thought, oh my god, I, the, the possibilities, how many different butterflies I could create by simply changing the position and the opening of these brackets. So I went wild as you can possibly imagine. It. You have two options, you can uh, glue the bracket underneath of the wings or inside of the wings is up to you how you want to do um, the look i went to i hot glue all the brackets on the inside of the wing because i did not want to see the structure on the outside of the butterflies i wanted to generate the conversation oh how did she do that and uh, so I thought inside would be better. All you're gonna see is a little bit of the, uh, the knots uh, on the outside of the wing. So the process for all butterflies are the same. You bend the brackets the way you want and then you hot glue and you screw your um, bolts and knots and you screw the structure to the board. 
So initially I was going to make the butterfly on the board, flat on the board, and then when I realized the possibilities, then I start to playing around with my brackets and put the butterfly in lots of different positions, as you're gonna see here on this video. After I done all the instructions, then we're gonna move on to the uh, gravity. So then we have to understand the gravity and how we're gonna position the uh, structure to support the weight of a cake. But for now, have a look at some of the ideas in here and some of the positions that I ended up creating. So to understand gravity in here and how we're gonna put the cake on this structure. So for the butterfly standing up, let's suppose that it, I put the cake in here. So as you can see in here, a whole bottle in here would collapse the weight, it wouldn't support the weight. So we have to put a little bit of a styrofoam at the bottom and then put a little plate. We put a little plate there so then we can build the butterfly up. So what do we need in here when you see this structure there you and you would have put the cake the same thing would have happening the cake would have collapsed so what do we need to do is a little shelf there at the bottom and then we put a little plate and build our cake up. In a structure like this one our cake is a little bit in the angle, so there is a, a possibility that the cake could slide. And in, in this case in here, the cake could even slide to the sides too. So there is a little bit of a trick in here. So I'm going to go with my structure in the angle, kind of. So basically my styrofoam will be there with a plate and it will support the weight of the cake. And for this last one, as you can see, the wing is fully open, so I'm not going to put any structure on this, just the galvanized. So now you have a couple of options in here. Sideways, standing up, flying away, wings closed. I just went crazy, as you know. Got too excited with the possibilities in here. So let's start putting the cake on this structure. So for this one with the wing fully open, it was very simple. As you know, I chose to put the bracket inside the cake. So I have to protect the uh, board and so is, my cake is not in contact with the galvanized brackets, screws. You can cover the board too. 
I'm going to use a 10 inch cake, a square cake that I have. As you know, I bake lots of 10 inch cakes. I found it easy to work with this uh, size cake. I cut the 10 inch cake, my 10 inch square cake in the middle. And I put a each half in each wing, basically. And then I just use the structure as my garden line and cut around and ganache. The ganache is very important in here because it's, it's what it keeps everything in position like our cement. So I'm using three by one because I like the way it dries and it protects my cake and it creates this film on it on uh, outside of the cake. So I like to work with the uh, ganache rate to three by one. And my recipe, I have lots of recipes in here, so just click on the icon. I have dark chocolate, white chocolate, caramel chocolate. You can mix, mix everything up and make a marble one. And it's super rich recipe, so I know you're gonna like. Take your time in ganache. That's, uh, you know, your canvas. So if the, the ganache of the cake is nice and is smooth, I chose to go with the sharp edges in here, but you don't have to. She would look beautiful with the soft round wings anyway. I just chose to go with the sharp edges. For the body you could make in many ways. In fact, I ended up doing lots of different ways of the body. I start, I made this one with the wings open because I have the space. I made the body with cake. And leftover cakes and I ganache it but uh, as you're gonna see on other structures I just cover the brackets with fondant so watch the process to make the other cakes standing up or sideways or flying away it's basically the same I chose it to go uh, four centimeters stripes because that was the thickness of my plates and I just stuck away and I start to stack. The reason why I do that is because it gives more body, more structure and more body to the cake. So there is less chance that this cake would collapse on top of each, each other because there is a lot of more ganache and more structure to the cake. And that's the reason why most of the time when I'm stuck, if I'm doing a cake on the upright position, that's the way I'm choosing to stack the cake. And when we finish with all the ganaches, we're gonna start the fun part, that is putting the fondant and decorating these butterflies.
two. In the phone, I decided to go with white. I for I'm going to airbrush this um, butterfly, so I cover with white fondant. And as always, you know, setting IC is my favorite, so. I'm always using uh, this fondant because it, it's super flexible and it uh, gives me plenty of time to play with the fondant without drying so quick. And it's super simple, I open the fondant very thin, very thin and put it on each wings. And then it was uh, time to airbrush and uh, I have a lot of fun that area too with the airbrush and here we, I'm using magical color absolutely love the magical color and uh, the colors are vibrant and the liquid uh, it doesn't splotch so so I mix lots of different I try to get three shades of light blue, dark blue, and navy for the, the blue butterfly. And semi with the green one, when with darks and light sh sh shadows. Spray just a little bit. The little goes a long way. It, and make sure to protect it. It's very important to protect where the white uh, dots is gonna be. I put a stick tape to protect it and then after I airbrush, airbrush all my cakes I decided to paint with black. I use black paste in here, a very thick black paste and it was totally hand painted. I, I took my time and you know what? I enjoyed so much. It was a huge therapy painting all these uh, beautiful butterflies for you. If you don't have an airbrush, it's not a picky. <laughs> you just paint with a brush or you can use dust colors. Dust colors are really good too. You can have the effect of going dark to, sh to light by just brushing.
so pleased with the end result and uh, how it looks and how colorful and how vibrant it was quick it's not a hard cake to do it's super fast and it did the the effect on the table was incredible of course it did dry very quick and it, it lost the shine so this morning before i start taping i spray some uh, shine chocolate glaze this one is from loyal and i spray the shine to give it this nice shine so i could tape this introduction for you so here's the end result and look it's it's you, I could if you add some little egg legs with the wire. You could, if you want, you could decorate the board and put some flowers on the board with your butterfly. It just looks stunning. And uh, so the possibilities, the things that you can create is incredible. That's why I'm so excited. Well, I get excited all the time, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you're gonna create. If you are interested in this structure or any more information, everything is going to be on my website. If you wanted to support me, head to my website, purchase my book, my structures, leave a feedback, book a class. I have lots of private classes now. Come and visit me my, on my new studio.